those hot spots. Let's check in on the ground with WBOC's Don Elkins near one of those homes. Hi, Don. Hi, Steve. How are you? We want to we want to paint a bit of a picture here for you this afternoon. Photojournalist Dan Taransky was with me. We are on the north bank of the of Jenkins Creek. Uh, to my left, we'll show you here in a second. There's the Jenkins Creek Bridge. There's fire crews actually coming up on the other side of that. Dan, if you would pan over here, take a look. You can see actually the the leaning edge of the fire today. There's the smoke. It's burned almost that entire south bank along, and it's been kind of working its way toward the Jenkins Creek Bridge. Dan, if you want to pan over here, take a look over to my left. You can see the fire crews are starting to come up on the south side of the bridge. A little bit about where we are. We are on Calvary Road, about a mile south of Crisfield. We're at the Nelson home, and the folks out here have been actually gathering in crowds, going out onto the bridge, coming out here on the road, uh, people in minivans, folks on bicycles, families out here watching this. Again, like I said, we are at Lewis Nelson's home. Lewis is with me today. Lewis, if you want to come over here for just a second. Uh, you guys noticed this fire about what time today? Well, my wife said she noticed it around 10, but it was like somebody was burning trash, like a barrel fire. I mean, you know, just see a little puff of smoke here and there. And and uh, I came home for lunch uh, after 12.30, and I looked over there, and it wasn't much bigger. Then I went, uh, I was going to leave to go back to work, and I saw a, a, a fire truck going through, and I, I was kind of curious, and I didn't know anything else, so I got home at quarter after four, and then I looked, and it looked like uh, Armageddon or something take place. I, you know, I didn't know what was going on. It's, it's really been coming up, and I know as we stand here, and as we've been talking to you for the past hour, you can really smell this. You, you, you know you're in a fire. You get that really heavy whiffs of smoke. Were you and your wife, uh, are you worried at all about the safety of your property? Right now, no. Uh, I got a lot of confidence in our local fire department. If it gets close, we got a public road. They'll bring everything they got here, and, and they'll do all they can. Now, when when uh, my buddy Steve says, uh, Louis, time to pack up and go. Steve Marshall, who's with the Crisfield yeah, Fire yeah. Department. When he says go, we're going. But uh, I'm pretty confident that they can do what they want and they can take care of it. But it's kind of scary just looking over and seeing that, especially when you're looking at the papers about everything out west, all the fires they've had out there. You kind of get a little nervous and all, but uh, until they tell me to go, I'm going to stick it out. Yeah, you know? uh, and that's and I appreciate that, Lewis. That's pretty much what we've been hearing today. Folks that actually have homes on the south side of the river where the fire is actually told me earlier that they weren't worried as much about their property because the winds have been blowing northwest, which is away from where they're at. Again, we are live in Crisfield. We'll be back in a few moments. Uh, later part of the show with Scott Marshall, assistant fire chief of the Crisfield Fire Department, with more. Steve, back to you. WBOC's Don Elkins, who's on the ground down there near the fire, burning near Crisfield. So let's check back in with him. Hey, Don. <laughs> Steve, again, we are on the north bank of Jenkins Creek, right about by the Jenkins Creek Bridge. We've been watching the fire here. Joining me now, Steve Marshall, who wears many hats today. Steve is the assistant fire chief of Crisfield. Why don't, Steve, why don't you give us the most up-to-date information on where you guys stand right now in controlling this? Basically, we've got about 20 to 30 acres of marshland and woodland still burning. We've got some hot spots. Uh, we feel that we have uh, secured the houses on the perimeter of this fire at the present time, but really Right now, we certainly don't have the fire under control. Now, we've been watching the flames creep along on the south bank, getting closer to the bridge. I notice you have brought some equipment up by the south entrance to the bridge. What's the plan if it gets down this far? We feel we can contain it on the north side with the Jenkins Creek should stop it, but we need to stop it before it gets to the bridge, so we have units on the road right now. What's the plan for, for throughout the evening? You've got, what, now six companies on, four on standby? That's correct. We've got ten companies in involved all together plus the Maryland Forest Service so uh, needless to say it's going to be a long night we're going to be here with this fire. You've had no problems with the water at I understand that you do have a hydrant about a mile away? That's correct we've been using the municipal water system and we've been shuttling water back and forth to the scene so far water hadn't been a problem. Now I've been snooping I just heard you somebody tell you about a reflare over here on this side what's happening with that? We have a hot spot that's near a house over there and evidently we've had a rekindle with the winds changed somewhat so they were asking for additional help. All right, Steve Marshall, the uh, assistant fire chief with Crisfield, keeping us up to date on what's going, and we'll try to keep you up to date as much as we can throughout the evening. Steve, back to you. All right, Don Elkins on the ground near Crisfield. Thanks very much. Before we leave you, a quick update from Crisfield on this brush fire. Some homes could be in jeopardy again. Don Elkins, what's happening?
right, Steve, again, we are watching this fire, kind of the leading edge of it on the south bank of Jenkins Creek. Again, I believe you're going to be looking at the video from Chopper 16 right now. You've got a lot of marshland, a lot of brush area. The whole thing started because of trash fire. We know that. We said it two or three times. Again, uh, the chopper is showing us right here. What you're seeing is a lot of wood, a lot of dead wood. There was an infestation of insects here a couple of years ago. All of that is dead. I mean, the thing is burning its way toward the uh, toward the Jen Jenkins Creek Bridge over here. There are fire units right now keeping kind of an edge and a watch on that side. Again, uh, Steve Marshall with the Crisfield Fire Department says for the most part, the flames are contained. There have been some reflares at certain points back near homes, uh, but at this point, they're trying to take a look at this end of the fire and make sure they can keep things uh, in control. We're going to have more on this for you tonight on the uh, WBOC News at 7. Steve, back to you in the studio. WBOC's Don Elkins, who's on the ground down there near the fire, burning near Crisfield, so let's check back in with him. Hey, Don. Steve, again, we are on the north bank of Jenkins Creek, right about by the Jenkins Creek Bridge. We've been watching the fire here. Joining me now, Steve Marshall, who wears many hats today. Steve is the assistant fire chief of Crisfield. Why don't, Steve, why don't you give us the most up-to-date information on where you guys stand right now in controlling this? Basically, we've got about 20 to 30 acres of marshland and woodland still burning. We've got some hot spots. Uh, we feel that we have uh, secured the houses on the perimeter of this fire at the present time, but really Right now, we certainly don't have the fire under control. Now, we've been watching the flames creep along on the south bank, getting closer to the bridge. I notice you have brought some equipment up by the south entrance to the bridge. What's the plan if it gets down this far? We feel we can contain it on the north side with the Jenkins Creek should stop it, but we need to stop it before it gets to the bridge, so we have units on the road right now. What's the plan for, for throughout the evening? You've got, what, now six companies on, four on standby? That's correct. We've got ten companies involved all together, plus the Maryland Forest Service, so uh, needless to say, it's going to be a long night. We're going to be here with this fire. You've had no problems with the water, and I understand that you do have a hydrant about a mile away? That's correct. We've been using the municipal water system, and we've been shuttling water back and forth to the scene. So far, water hadn't been a problem. Now, I've been snooping. I just heard you somebody tell you about a reflare over here on this side. What's happening with that? We have a hot spot that's near a house over there, and evidently we've had a rekindle. We, the winds changed somewhat, so they were asking for additional help. All right, Steve Marshall, the uh, assistant fire chief with Crisfield, keeping us up to date on what's going, and we'll try to keep you up to date as much as we can throughout the evening. Steve, back to you. All right, Don Elkins on the ground near Crisfield. Thanks very much. Before we leave you, a quick update from Crisfield on this brush fire. Some homes could be in jeopardy again. Don Elkins, what's happening? All right, Steve, again, we are watching this fire, kind of the leading edge of it on the south bank of Jenkins Creek. Again, I believe you're going to be looking at the video from Chopper 16 right now. You've got a lot of marshland, a lot of brush area. The whole thing started because of trash fire. We know that. We said it two or three times. Again, uh, the chopper is showing us right here. What you're seeing is a lot of wood, a lot of dead wood. There was an infestation of insects here a couple of years ago. All of that is dead. I mean, the thing is burning its way toward the uh, toward the Jen Jenkins Creek Bridge over here. There are fire units right now keeping kind of an edge and a watch on that side. Again, uh, Steve Marshall with the Crisfield Fire Department says for the most part, the flames are contained. There have been some reflares at certain points back near homes, uh, but at this point, they're trying to take a look at this end of the fire and make sure they can keep things uh, in control. We're going to have more on this for you tonight on the uh, WBOC News at 7. Steve, back to you in the studio.